Hi, this is Bill for Sparky Channel, and today I'd like to show you how to install a pop-up stopper. And that is what this is right here, a pop-up stopper. And this is a bathroom sink, and so the pop-up stopper goes in here, and I'm going to show you how to properly connect it. But what some people do is they just put this right down the drain with this going sideways, and you just pop it in like that, and then it actually sort of works. It doesn't work very well, but it will work that way. You just put it in sideways like that, and it kind of works. One advantage to this sideways installation technique is that it makes for easier cleaning of the tailpiece area of the drain. But I'm going to show you how to put it in like this and hook it up to all the various parts here. And when it's properly adjusted, it will close with a, a little more force so that it will hold the water longer when you're shaving or doing whatever you're doing. This is your tailpiece right here. And this is called a pivot rod or a ball rod. And then this is called the ball rod nut right here. And then this is called the clevis strap. And the word clevis means that it has something to do with something going through it and connecting to other things. So they call that a clevis strap. And this is a spring clip right here. And the spring clip is not supposed to be out here. It's supposed to be holding on the clevis strap in place. The first thing that will do is take off the ball rod nut right here. Just loosen that right up. Okay, we're going to take this out like that. And here's why it's called a ball rod, because there's, there's the ball right there. That seats in here, and this is a beveled entrance right here, and that um, seals for water so you don't get a leak out of there. That's the, this is the ball rod. So now we're going to take the pop-up stopper, and we're going to put the part with the hole farther back towards the faucet, and I'm going to put it right in like that. Okay, so there's your pop-up stopper. So what we're going to do now, I'm going to take off this spring clip back here. And remember which hole it was in. It was in this hole right here. Okay, now I'm going to put the spring clip right here like that. I'm going to go through here and through there. You see, the spring clip is going to hold the ball rod right in place. Okay, so now we're going to take this portion and put it right through the hole that is in the bottom of the pop-up stopper. Sometimes it's a little hard to do because you're banging up against the wall, but you can get it. Okay. So I can move this and I can see my pop-up stopper moving. So I do have it through the hole in the bottom of the pop-up stopper. Now where this is positioned on this rod makes a difference. If you bring it up closer, kind of press the spring together, bring it up closer, that's going to cause your pop-up to go up higher. If this is back farther, your pop-up will not go up as high. The other adjustment is, is way up here, kind of hard to get at. The arrow is pointing to the clevis screw, which is another adjustment. So you can just use this as an adjustment as to how vertical you want this piece to be. So we are in to the bottom of the pop-up stopper right now. And I'm going to go ahead and tighten up the nut. Okay, now it, it really does matter a lot how hard you tighten this. You don't want it too tight as it's going to be so tight that no one can move the stopper up and down. You don't want it too loose so that it leaks or anything and that's just about right. Not too much and we can certainly adjust this a little later. So this is stable right now because it's held in place by the spring clip and this is tightened on and so let's try it out. 
So the pop-up stopper is in the up position right now. And you pull up this handle, and now it's closed. So here's up, down, up, down, up, down. We're working great here. So let's go ahead and run some water. You see it's, it's holding the water pretty well. And then you let it go. And there goes the water. Now I'll always check down here for a leak and we don't have any leak and I was able to lift the rod up and down easily without too much force. Here's a drawing that shows the spring clip installed differently from the way that I installed it in the video. I installed it so that the spring clip surrounds the clevis strap and secures it where it is. I feel that that keeps your pop-up stopper going up and down the same distance each time. I feel that if you have your clevis strap loose like that your clevis strap can move around and that will change the distance of the throw for your pop-up stopper. So let me know in the comment section what you guys think. Do you guys have some tips for everyone else? I love tips. I learn things myself and other viewers can read the comments and learn from them as well. I'll put a link in my video description for the Moen Adler bath faucet which is the one seen in the video and it does come with the drain and the pop-up stopper and the various hardware that comes with it. Thanks! I hope this video was helpful.